हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो आई एम अगेन बैक विथ वन न्यू कंसेप्ट इन सेल स्क्रिप्टिंग सो फर्स्ट विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट थियोरेटिकली एंड देन विल डू वन स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस सो द कंसेप्ट फॉर टू डे इज हाउ टू यूज फॉर लूप इन सेल स्क्रिप्टिंग एंड वंस वी लर्न अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फॉर लूप देन विल इम्प्लीमेंट वन फॉर लूप कंसेप्ट फॉर राइटिंग ए सिंपल सेल स्क्रिप्ट सो वाट विल बी द प्रोजेक्ट फॉर टू we we'll loop over the content of directory specified and delete the contents one by one so let us first understand theoretically how to use for loop so for loop contains a number of values in the list and will execute each item in the list for example if there are 10 values in the list then loop will execute 10 times and each value will be stored in a variable just a example for variable name is table in 1 2 3 4 what i am doing do echo values dollar table so in table what values will be stored first time 1 then second time 2 third time 3 fourth time 4 and then to close the for loop again done so that's it this is the syntax for using for loop now let us write this concept practically so vi simple for dot sh any name i am giving first line will be always c bang line so has exclamation sign then slash bin slash bash and what we will do for in any variable name i in 1 2 3 4 5 6 then what i am telling do what to do echo dollar i what dollar i will do dollar means value of i exactly so i will be having first time one second time two third time three fourth time four fifth time fifth and sixth time sixth and then to close it we'll do done so now let us save it and let us see how it's working so first what we have to do we have to change the permission so ch mode plus x and then simple for dot sh how to run it to run dot slash simple for dot sh and you can see the values are printed first time first then second third fourth fifth sixth so this is simple syntax of using for loop now let us do one small project on for loop which will really clear our concepts regarding for loop so in for loop first line is always c bang line we are writing then what we are doing we are writing for loop and the variable name is folder so folder is a variable what value i am getting for folder in and i explained you in previous lectures like if with dollar and a small brackets you are using and inside that whatever the command you will write the output of that command will be actual value there so in our case we are using find then find is the command to find anything in your system and what i am telling what to find i am telling hyphen type type is d d is type is directory if type is file it will search for type is f then it will search for files we are writing type is d means it will search for directory what is directory in linux directory is folder in windows operating system so directory is same as folder which contains multiple files inside it now same like if condition we were using semicolon here also semicolon and then do inside the do whatever the block of code you want to write and then to close the for loop done what code we are writing here echo echo is simple print message this folder is in this fold the folder is dollar folder or you can say the folder the name of folder so the list of folders and then dollar folder so what this find command will do find command will search all the folders present at this particular location and it will print its value here we are printing it now what i am telling that among the list of folders if some of the directory like if hyphen d hyphen d means directory directory is same like folder which we are telling so if hyphen d is test 
like in previous lecture we learned if hyphen e means exist means if something exists similar way if hyphen d means this directory exists so i am telling if hyphen d test means if test directory exists in list of these folders then what you have to do you have to print a message that this folder exists and then you will print a message that removing the folder and then you will remove the folder using rm hyphen rf and the folder name so what i am telling if directory test exist then print the message like this folder exist then echo the message like removing the folder and then rm hyphen rf and folder name means it will forcefully remove the folder and r uh, rm hyphen r means recursively means whatever the content inside the folder is it will remove everything and f is called forceful forceful means you it will not ask you for any prompt it will directly clean everything present inside test folder itself if this test directory does not exist then it will print a message that test folder does not exist it will close the if condition using fee and then closing the for loop using done so right now let us first run this script and see how exactly it is behaving so first see what all folders are present here so you don't see test folder is there test 1 test 2 is there but you don't have the test folder present here now let us run your run our script dot slash for loop dot sh so you can see the folder is dot the folder is dot ssh folder is test 1 folder is test 2 and you are getting a message again and again test folder does not exist because test was not there again test folder does not exist test folder does not exist test folder does not exist now let us do one thing let us create a folder here test now you do ls hyphen ltr so you can see test folder is existing now again run the same for loop so this time what message you got the folder is dot and then it is printing the message this folder exist means test folder was existing and then it has removed the folder then dot ssh means this is not test folder so it is printing the message that test folder does not exist again test folder does not exist so now let us again check that your test folder is present here or not so what you see the test folder once test folder was existing it has removed the folder forcefully and then it has completed the script so i hope you guys got clear concept about how to use for loops how to find any folder or directory is existing or not using hyphen d option how to use for loop for any variable name then in and whatever the values you want to do then semicolon after that do and closing of for loop using done so that's it about today's lecture i hope you guys are able to understand it if any doubts please put in comment section Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time